सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल एंड दिस इज द मस्ट अवेटेड लैब बाय मेनी पार्टिसिपेंट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट लैब एंड इफ यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल लाइक द वीडियो नाउ दिस लैब इज वेरी ट्रिकी एंड इफ यू मिस एनी सिंगल स्टेप और यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस लैब यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू गेट द स्कोर सो लेट स्टार्ट बेसिकली यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट वी हैव टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ मेटा डेटा फॉर डेटा स्टोर then we have to set up the cloud identity and then we'll query the unstructured search app and then filter the results we have to use two filters so let's get started so when you click on start lab you'll see this kind of resources is provisioning you need to wait till the time mentioned here and then you will be able to start the lab basically it will take at least 1 minute and then the credentials will be shown over here so just wait it and here we'll cover each and every single step by step tutorial so you won't be facing any kind of error and even if you face like i did i will tell you how you can resolve it so just wait for it to get started once it is started you have to just open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password always check the lab instruction now it's signing in here if any pop up comes you have to just click on i understand and then just agree and continue now let's wait for the console to open now just activate the cloud shell here will be initiate some kind of steps basically the metadata step so if you face any kind of error you can just make sure you are signed in to your partner's account now here for this error just reload the window and it will be fixed so i am covering the error part also in this video so that you can complete the lab easily now again activate the cloud shell you have to click on that button if it is not visible here just click on continue and authorize yourself now once you click on this authorize button it will start to initiate the cloud shell session and here in the description box of this video i have shared the repository we'll be using it to ease the process basically this lab is little bit tricky so here is some guide do not just follow blindly just try to understand the logic behind each and every step so just first of all copy this command and come to the cloud shell paste over here and export the project id first of all hit enter and then you have to just enter the project id like this and then again hit enter now it will just update the property and copy all this pd files directly on your cloud storage bucket so this is the first step which we have done so if you want you can just check the score let's come to the first task you can see we have done all these tasks so just check the score now the second task is set up google identity so how will set up first of all you need to understand we have to come back here minimize your cloud shell on the search box type our ai application okay ai application you have to just click on this one first one and here first of all we have to enable the apis a check box pop up will come just wait for it just click on this check box continue and activate it api it will take some time so wait for it here once it is enabled you will be redirected to this page now here we have to enable the go settings go to settings and click on this global and here just select this one and save it so task number 1 we have done now task number 2 has also been done now we have to create an app that is based on first of all click on create new app if this kind of interface is not there just click on the agent space app and for the name you need to first of all check the score for task number 2 meanwhile you can see in task number 3 we have to do these things just copy the name carefully and just paste over here now company name is also mentioned here make sure to select the values carefully because for your case in your case basically you have to click on continue and then create the data store because in your case it might be different so just select cloud storage and you have to just click on this linked unstructured jsonl and here file and just browse it so just select it carefully and once it shows check mark now here data store name for that data store name you have to just select from number 2 section just paste the name over here and click on create now 
now it's taking some time and now you have to just click on create so basically we have created the data store we have created the application now it is just importing the files and you'll click on it you can see here it is processing the data you have to just click on the activity section and here it is importing all the documents carefully so this task basically will take 5 to 15 minutes you can see import in progress so you need to wait for it do not proceed for the next step you can see here they have clearly mentioned up to 15 minutes now one more important thing is that here are some bugs also in this lab so no need to worry about it how i will cover the lab i will tell you just open any online notepad over here you can use your personal notepad also there is no issue so basically we will be using some commands to export the basically perform some task on the next step so you need to wait up for it first of all wait for this import task to get completed it will take 5 to 15 minutes so you need to wait for it now in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video So finally after 10 minutes it has been successfully completed you can see in the activity section all things are showing checkbox so you have to just check the score once all things are showing tick mark in simple words now we have to configure the search option so basically this step is very much tricky you need to pay attention for it now here come to the configuration section and just you have to just scroll down and you can see these two options just configure the app so for the title it will be title and here you have to you have to only export basically select the text okay text value text one and text two you select it carefully cross verify sometimes they update the values also now facet settings click on eight facet and here it will be category so just copy the name category you can type also there is no issue now just click on save and publish now once you will click on this you can see here that they have updated it now we have to view the app how will view the app you have to just come to the integration section if you want to preview have a quick preview you can click on the preview option to have a quick preview of the app okay it will look like this and basically we have to just use the integration method so if you want to check the score go and check the score now come to the integration option now 
now here you can see uh, you are will be loaded wait for it to get loaded you have to just copy it and paste on a new tab and hit enter now the app is loading meanwhile you can check the score for the previous task also so here basically we have to just run this query and we have to just uh, categorize the query so just come over here and actually many of you are facing some kind of issue so just hit enter and you will see that here categories is not visible so here you can see the data store values and last updated status is here but the category is not available so what we can do in this such cases you have to just run the query again and again again and again because this lab will take some time so you need to just run the query again and again as i am doing in this video just follow it and you will be able to complete this lab so just follow this query again and again here you can try this method also so basically there is no shortcut for this task you need to just keep running the query again and again until you see here the option basically the option to just fill the category so you have to just keep running it again and again okay just keep running the query again and again again and again and you can just refresh it also just try to reopen the web app like this i tried my best to make this video simpler but only this task is little bit glitchier i think but if you get directly the category option within few minutes then you can just perform the next step also so no need to worry about it still there is no option like this so i think there is some glitch still we will try our best we won't give up in this lab because uh, yes you can see here category is now visible so just select the information tab from here okay just select it and you can see problem in loading results so because there are some glitch it's not working properly and once the lab will be fixed it will be done still you have to just have patience and complete along with me you will definitely get the patch so again they have removed it i think due to heavy load it is not working properly still we will keep trying again and again again and again just refresh the browser again i know it might be annoying for you to complete this lab where you face this kind of issue still we have to complete it so just keep running this you can see here the category option is available now now just click on this information and just tap anywhere on the mouse cursor now it will start showing the results and here you have to just click on this eye icon to preview just click on this eye icon now just come to the lab instruction and check the score initially you may not get the score but if you not get the score try again and just do it now here we have to just filter the response for that in the description box of this video i have shared one repository as i said earlier you have to just copy this curl command and just paste over here now do not just directly copy and paste you have to make some modifications over here now here first thing is that we have to update the api so just click on this api carefully and here just copy the first one okay copy the first one over here wait a second you can use the down button also or better use the upper side also here just hit enter you can use your personal notepad also now here we have to update the properties from discovery just copy as i am doing and you have to just select it like this just copy it paste over here now this thing is done now here we have to find the session id so the first curl command does not contain the session id you can see here if you try to find you won't be able to get the session id so how you have to find let me show you now here session id is unavailable you have to just come to the console over here and you can see the second one just copy the second curl command and just on the top you have to just paste it you can just replace the previous one do not replace the command which we have copied the from the github repo okay 
now from here you can see the session id is like this you have to just copy it basically session url or session id you can call anything now just replace it like this and here just select this query from here to here the query which we have copied from the github repo okay so just copy carefully and if you make any kind of mistake like in case you haven't updated the session id you have to just select carefully i know it might be boring for you but still i have to cover each and every student so that they can complete this lab with easily so this is about this task and here just copy it carefully come over here and just activate your cloud shell and in case it shows like this just click on reconnect now here it's provisioning it will take some time so wait for it meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video yet do like it and subscribe the channel too now here it's still provisioning here finally the shell is now ready now the shell as the shell is now ready now here you have to just paste the command which you have just now created and modified now here you can see the output will come now here we have to just update it for the next step so once you see the output just come over here and check the score so you can see we got the score for the fourth task one basically 4a now you have to run another command so here basically we have to update the query and the filter basically the category filter so here you have to just copy this query come over here and just update it like this now for the category it will be financials so just copy it from here and just update it instead of information it will be financials just copy the curl command from here to here and just paste over here now once you see this kind of output you are done with the lab basically we are done with the lab now once you get 85 or 80 out of 100 you can just end the lab because some of the other tasks are having lots of bugs and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i my personally i tried this lab multiple times then only i was able to complete it so no need to worry if you face any kind of error you can just run this query again and you'll definitely get the score so just wait for a few more minutes meanwhile for other genai labs you can check the playlist also or you can just visit the video section okay so just rerun this command and just check the score and that's how we completed this particular lab we have done with this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead you can see we have done this